We're addressing tank mix sequence procedures here today. There is a science to tank mix order. We always know that we start with AMS or our water condition agents. They go in the tank first. Uh, then if you're dealing with water soluble packets, they should be pre-slurried. By pre-slurried, I mean put them in a beaker or a bucket, uh, add some water, get them stir, circulate it. The cooler the water, the longer it takes to pre-slurry it properly. Then you can introduce it into the tank mix uh, with, the, with the AMS and water conditioning agent and the water, the tank being half full. Then if you're applying wettable powders, or dry flowables, those should be added third. If you're dealing with compatibility agents to enhance the, uh, the mixability of these mixtures, you would add the compatibility agent at fourth in, in line. If you're looking at liquid flowables like atrazine or diuron, for instance, those would go in uh, five. Then your capsule suspensions or your SE suspension emulsions, they would go in number six. Number seven would be your emulsifiable concentrates. That's where the uh, soluble liquids, uh, the Enlist Duo, the Enlist One, the glyphosate products come into play. They're way down the list. In fact, if you look at it, they're the final active ingredient that you would apply into the, or introduce into the mixture when you're doing a complex tank mix sequence. Finally, that is when you use your adjuvants. Uh, are including crop oil concentrate, methylated seed oil, non-ionic surfactant, or what other uh, adjuvant that you might be adding. Then you would top this off with water. Agitation is needed and required and desirable from start to finish. Once you introduce a product into the tank, you should have continuous agitation to keep products suspended. And really, you should never cease agitation until you spray the tank pretty well dry under optimal conditions. For more information, visit Enlist.com.